I found nine of the easiest high paying remote jobs. Yes, these are remote and work from home jobs that are easy to get into and relatively easy to do as well. So these require little to no experience to get into. And once you get the job, they're not very difficult. And the first one on the list is going to be a buyer's guide writer. So I'm sure you're familiar with buyer's guides. There's lots of different websites out there that do this. For instance, Kelly Blue Book is good for cars. Consumer Reports is another huge buyer's guide website. And there's buyer's guides for just about every industry out there. And the great thing about this is there are many ways to monetize these types of businesses. In many cases, you can directly monetize them with affiliate links, sponsorships, or even just putting ads on the page. And every day, probably thousands of these buyer's guides are going out on the internet and writing them is a specific skill that many businesses need. And this is a specialized type of content writing where you can make somewhere between 50 to $80,000 a year. And if you notice here, the highest paying type of writer is a tech writer. And that's very likely because many of them are writing buyer's guide type content. There's always a new phone coming out or a new car coming out or something along those lines. So this type of content is very profitable. It's very easy to write and there's a ton of demand for it. So overall, this one is really good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a leave specialist. And you're basically going to be responsible for managing employee absence as well as mm. leave requests. And you're gonna be ensuring compliance with company policies as well as labor laws. And in this position, you'd be making about $53,000 a year. And this is another one of those positions where you can quite easily get into it without having to have a college degree or previous experience. Although some companies will require you to have a college degree because why not? And here are some opportunities. I'll just have them pop up on the screen that you can check out. So this one is pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, the next one on the list is going to be a sales designer. And this is where you can combine your sales skills with your creative skills as well. And you're basically going to be designing visually captivating sales material. And sales designers make about $66,000 a year. Now, this is another position that you can get into at the entry level. You do not have to have previous experience to get into this one. And here's a couple job opportunities. I'll put it up on the screen. So overall, this is a pretty good one, especially at the entry level. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, if you do want to get started in sales, I think there's an even better opportunity and that's going to be tech sales. This is one where I've interviewed a ton of people on my channel that have gone from zero experience to a job and sometimes as little as a month. Della, for instance, was able to go from making $0 to making over $100,000 a year in a month and a half. And the company that she used to do this was Course Careers and they actually offer a free training, which I'll put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below on what tech sales is, what the different positions are, the career trajectory, basically any question that you might have on tech sales. And they also offer a cohort based course where you'd go through material with a bunch of other people and then you'd get guaranteed interviews. And of course that does cost, I believe $500, but there is a $50 off coupon Shane 50, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below as well. Now, the next one on the list is going to be a virtual friend. And yes, I know this one sounds really funny, but actually there's a lot of demand for this. There's a lot of websites like rentafriend.com where let's say you're going to a new city, you don't know anybody in the city, you can basically rent a friend for a few weeks to kind of show you around, to introduce you to people, etc. Now, the range for how much you make on this one is gonna depend on how much you charge and also how much you work, but typically people make between $22,000 and $96,000 a year. Year. So this one could just be a cool little weekend side hustle that you can do once in a while, or you could turn it into a full blown career. So this is something that basically anybody could do, but realistically speaking, most people are not going to make like full time money from it. So overall, I'll give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. The next one on the list is going to be a remote manager, and this could fall under a bunch of different categories. You could do this in many different industries and in many different positions, but basically you're going to be managing a team remotely. So pretty obvious here. Here, my entire team is remote. I have a remote manager and there are some specific skill sets that you need to have as a remote manager that you wouldn't have if you were just a normal
normal manager. For instance, you need to know how to use project management software. You need to know how to keep things organized. You need to know how to make sure that people are actually logging in on time and not just, you know, doing whatever they want throughout the day, etc. So I couldn't find salaries for remote managers specifically, but office managers typically make at least $58,000 a year. And in many positions, you can make a lot more than that. Now, this is one where you typically are going to need to have previous experience in something, but there are more and more of these types of positions that are popping up. So manager positions typically aren't that easy. And I know this is a video about kind of like easy remote jobs, but if you are going to pick one of the easier ones, it would be a remote manager because you're not going to be as overseen as you would be in an office type role. So for that reason, I'll give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is probably going to surprise you that it can be done remotely. And that's going to be a facilities manager. So basically you're going to be managing things like maintenance requests, safety and building operations. And before the cough cough situation happened, of course, all facility supervisors worked on site. But after that situation happened, there's actually a lot of opportunity for remote positions. And as a facilities coordinator, you can make about $48,000 a year. Now, a lot of the times people will become a facilities coordinator coming from some other related position. In some cases, you can actually jump into this position if you're a janitor, for instance. And here are some job listings and opportunities that you can look into. So I just thought this one was funny. So I put it in there, you know, it just shows that you should really open up your mind when it comes to the opportunities when it comes to a remote job. A lot of people think there's no way I could do my job remotely. But in many cases, that's just not true. But overall, I'll give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. Another one that's kind of surprising that you can do remotely, but you can actually do this is a property showing agent. And this is basically where you assist clients in buying a property by doing property tours virtually, you may also collect and provide detailed information. And in some cases, you may May facilitate negotiations as well. So basically, you know, you would be working with a client, they would give you certain specifications on what they want out of a property, you'd go look at a bunch of different properties. In some cases, if it looks like it might match up to the specifications, you'd take a video and kind of show the property. Then you would send that video to the client. You might even FaceTime with them or do some kind of live video. And then the client might go to see the property themselves and they just saved a bunch of their time. And in this position, according to Glassdoor, you make about $69,000 a year. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a program support specialist. And this is basically where you provide administrative and logistical support to ensure the success of various programs. So for instance, if schools were going on online, they very likely had a program support specialist. And in this position, you'd expect to make about $51,000 a year. Now, this is another one where you definitely do not need to have previous experience. And in most cases, you wouldn't need to have a college degree. It does help to be technically savvy. And there are certain certifications and online courses that you can take to learn this skill. But overall, I think this one is going to get more and more popular as time goes on. Many different services out there are going online and remote. And so I'll give this an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. The next one on the list is going to be a people coordinator. And this is a remote role that's responsible for coordinating very various aspects of human resources, employee relations, and team dynamics in a virtual work environment. And this is another role that doesn't typically require degrees, a bunch of previous experience, or a bunch of certifications. And people coordinators make about $59,000 a year. And overall, I'll give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. Now, if you like this video, check out my seven remote jobs that are always hiring video to see remote jobs that are pretty much always hiring all year round. And you can check that out by clicking right here.